Hello, welcome to Geeky Hijinks, Home and Mischief Makers, and today we're looking at the medium. So another week, another Shudder film, and this one's coming out this Thursday on October 14th on Shudder, of course. Now this is a film I've been intrigued with for a while. I heard about it not too long ago. It's won many awards or a few awards, maybe one award. Guys, do your research before you say things have awards. And so I was thinking, hmm, things that win awards surely can't be bad because um, as history has proven to us, everything that's won an award is amazing. So the medium takes place in Northern Thailand in the Asan region. And it's here we meet for a documentary team, a lady called Nim. And Nim is the caretaker or a shaman in this film for the local deity, the goddess of this particular area. And she has people come to the mountains for healings, not anything to do with medicine or medical treatment. It's more for otherworldly spiritual treatment. So if anything's been possessed and in Thailand, their notion is spirits don't just possess people, but they possess crops, the trees, the plants, the birds, insects, animals, basically anything. So if there's anything otherworldly or unnatural, they'll come and see Nim. Now in the beginning of this movie, the documentary team and Nim are attending Nim's sister's husband's funeral. And this is where we meet Nim's niece, Mink. Now Mink is a boisterous, rowdy, troubled child member of the family, a bit naughty, and Nim notices things about her. She's acting very strange, not acting herself, and Nim's almost getting vibes that she's been possessed by some sort of dark entity. And it's here where Nim and the rest of her family, including her documentary team, do their best to get the evil spirit away from Mink. Now the one thing I didn't know about this film, it was a documentary star movie. She had this camera crew, there's about four in each, very confusing at times because I thought it was just one guy following him, but there's like four following them around. And essentially it starts off just like that. They're filming her going to the mountains, praying, finding out more about her caretaking duties to the deity, as well as the deity itself. And one thing you're pretty much compared to straight away, but these are the things I compared to straight away anyway, were Paranormal Activity, The Exorcist, with a little splash of The Conjuring. But yeah, the Paranormal Activity comparisons are quite big here, and it's not really a bad thing because Paranormal Activity 1, especially well, the first three, I think they're really, really good found footage films. They're, 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 I think they're great. I think they're really scary, really effective. Everything after that is poo-poo. And with the new one on Horizon, we'll see how it compares to this. But this wasn't a bad attempt at it. So it's, like I said, it's a documentary mixed with found footage. And the Exorcist elements is because you get to know more about the family, know a little bit more about the demon and the conjuring because of... um. There's some serious conjuring <laughs> rip-off music in this. You know, like the... That's the purge. But I'll play it in a second. So let's just jump straight into what I liked about this film. And that's the way it looks. Like I mentioned, it's meant to be a documentary. Most documentaries, especially set in places like Thailand, Africa, or any really exotic places in the world, it's going to look beautiful. So the shots they have are so, so good. And I was thinking, wow, this is not only one of the best looking shutter films I've seen, I've probably one of the best looking films I've seen this year. And I just love films like this that touch on different countries and their cultures and their beliefs and like i said um in the synopsis that uh, this is based on spirits but not spirits as we know it spirits isn't how they perceive it in thailand in this particular part of northern thailand where spirits take on all forms and not to possess people but they can possess a grain of rice so i found this stuff really interesting so even though this is a horror film it's also a very educational experience and what do you want from a horror film like this, like Paranormal Activity, like The Exorcist, like I said, little splashes of The Conjuring, <laughs> I should be a chef. It's um, scares, and this film got me quite a bit. There are some scenes here, I just didn't like him, because it made me feel uncomfortable. I, Paranormal Activity scared me for a reason, I don't like twitchy moving girls, I don't like eyeballs with no pupils, just pure white, I don't like jaws clicking or being open too wide, and... I don't like any of them. And there's one jump scare. I think there are jump scares in this, but of course it's a found footage film, you're gonna get some. But there is one and you you're like, okay, I know I know what's going on here. And I was drinking at the time. I almost burnt my face off. I was like, because I scared the crap it scared the crap out of me. So the scares in this film are really good and the horror too. And I'll touch on the horror again. That last half an hour, 35 minutes, 
it goes for it it doesn't mess around holds no punches like there is it's a very horrific situation for anyone to be in and i enjoyed the crap out of it and now i'm gonna go straight into my negatives and it breaks my heart to say but this negative now is what severely severely lets this film down and this film has some very bad pacing issues i'm talking some of the worst pacing issues i've seen in a horror i paused this film to get a drink and when i thought to myself you know what this film's pretty good it's gonna wrap up soon oh my god i've got an hour and 15 minutes left it just slows right down so you get 15 minutes of good 20 minutes of come on then something else happened and then it will drop and i had to stop this film many times because i was getting bored i was checking my phone going on instagram making another drink i was just it was engaging me and losing me and engaging me and losing me and engaging me and losing me and it was losing me more than it was engaging me and like i mentioned when it gets to that last scene really really good really really good that like last scene of the film the last 35 minutes 40 minutes were great but the film goes on for 40 to 50 minutes too long so it's such a shame because this is a film that when it's good it's great but it's just too slow and i like a slow burn but it's just slowly burning my eyeballs out my face and if you love animals prepare to be horrified because there is no animal cruelty in this film but animals get badly hurt in this film and if you're an animal lover like me it's yeah it's not good and stupid decisions stupid stupid decisions like here's mink she has no pupils like clearly possessed crazy she moves crazy i don't like it when horror characters do that that's a new dance by the way but yeah mink clearly possessed clearly a danger to everyone let's just let her wander around the house at night while we're sleeping because nothing bad can happen surely like i've never seen a horror film if my sister was doing this, if she had white pupils, big disjointed mouth, running around the house at night, staring at people in their sleep, I'd be locking her in there for the rest of her life. But instead, in this film, let's just, you know, we have a baby and stuff, only like one years old or less, let's just let Mink do what she wants. She's harmless. So yeah, some stupid character decisions, but a little bit of a nitpick. Overall, this film looks great, when it's scary, it's scary. When the horror kicks in, it kicks in. And it's so damn entertaining, especially at last half an hour. I really enjoyed it. But it's painfully, painfully long. It's a two hour, 10 minute film. It feels like three hours. And when it slows down, my God, does it slow down. And as a result, I'm gonna have to give the medium two out of five geeky coins. It also gets a one-time spin and a mobile moan. So guys, that was my review of The Medium. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it a snooze fest or the greatest film you've ever seen? Come back to the comments to let me know because I genuinely am interested. And if you like this video, drop my those likes because it always does help. But until next time, stay out of trouble.